Hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. Today, the full transformation takes place to my Golf GTI with a full paint correction and ceramic coating. Once again, I'm teaming up today with Mike from Conning's Detailing and also in today's video, a company called Naciel. Now, recently on the channel, you would have seen Mike and I give this car a full decontamination wash. In fact, what I think to be its first proper wash in its lifetime. The wheels came off to get right into the arches and it came out, as you can see, pretty damn well, but there still is a lot of imperfections on the paintwork, which can only be resolved with a paint correction. In fact, off camera, after filming that video, Mike did give the car a full clay bar to get rid of any of the last decontamination on the paintwork. And now essentially, as the car sits right now, it's all ready for its makeover. So in fact, before we get cracking, I need to introduce you to Mike for those of you who didn't see the previous video and also take a look at all the Naciol products, which will be applied and used on this car today. Okay, we're back with Mike, back on the channel, my friend. Okay. In the new unit, it's very, very bright in here, but very, very cool as well. Very, very Thank cool. you very much. Yeah, I'm glad, I'm very pleased with the results. There, were still, there are still some finishing touches to be done, yeah. but um, yeah, it's, it's overall, it's a lovely place yeah. to work. Pleasure to have my car, one of the first in it, really. <laughs> it is, absolutely, one of the first cars, which yeah. you can very often see on the road. So yeah, definitely. It's, it's really down to our car. Mm. I tend to work on uh, premium cars, however, now and again, I do yeah. have cars like that, that you take, we you all use every day. Yeah. <laughs> you took some convincing, but uh, yeah, well, I think it's going to be a good transformation, definitely. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Definitely. So, um, well, today is basically the, the big transformation of the car, really, the full paint correction and the ceramic coating, of course, using all the Naciol products, which I think we'll go through very shortly in a minute. Um, but uh, yeah, really, really exciting because we obviously did the full decontamination clean of the car. So if you haven't seen that video, go check that out. Um, but uh, yeah, well, give us a quick run round of basically what we're going to be doing, basically. That's right. So the Naciol is a brand that has been well established, uh, doesn't have very big presence in UK. Uh, however, they do have really good products. So I, I did uh, try and test off of all the products on the market and uh, we found a question. This product is outperforming every other product. It's a single stage product, it's brilliant. And is this what, our, uh, what we are going to use today? The, the Nasol is doing obviously a range of their products. The one which are relevant to our work is ceramic coating is the Nasol Clean, which is the degreaser you have to apply before. Uh, application of ceramic coating, we are going to use a glass shield product which is uh, designed for windscreen and exterior glass and uh, during the paint correction uh, I will be using their uh, polishing compounds and uh, finishing uh, polish. So um, hopefully we'll see how well uh, yeah. uh, uh, these products are Lovely. Performing. And obviously the first stage of this is the paint correction, so we'll be using those two first and Absolutely. once the surface is all completely um, well, ready for the coating really, then Absolutely. We'll um, I need to say the most important thing in application of ceramic coating is the preparation. Yeah. I think it's like whatever you do in your life, it's all about the preparation. Mm. So the ceramic coating is designed to seal achieved finish, which is flawless without any scratches, lovely level of gloss. You apply the ceramic coating and you can enjoy this finish for yeah. uh, years to come. Kind of lock it in almost. Yeah. Exactly that. Yeah. So it does, it does create um, very scratch resistant um, yep. film mm -hmm. um, on top of the existing clear coat yep. so it bonds to the existing clear coat uh, which is the lacquer yep. um, and it creates the as I say scratch resistant coating mm -hmm. and the good benefit of this as well is the hydrophobic property so yep. you can see the water just runs off. That is what I'm looking forward to. Absolutely yeah, yeah. Most, of, <laughs> most of the people is that what they're looking for yep. and that's how they judge the, the, the quality of the coating however mm -hmm. for us for professionals is all about how hard and how scratch resistant coating yep. is. So yeah. Um, yeah, additional benefit of it is hydrophobic, but also mm. we need to make sure when you drive and there is a lorry approaching from the other mm. side and you yeah. push against the hedges, <laughs> when you get out of the car, there is no scratches on, yeah. on the side of your car. Brilliant. Um, cool. So yeah, absolutely. We'll get go going with the car. Mm -hmm. uh, it will be rather advanced service. We will yep. be um, doing a little bit of the wet sanding as well to remove some deeper scratches and rectify um, orange peel. Yep. So the plan will be to achieve the best possible finish. Lovely. Awesome. We're really looking forward to it. And actually, you may notice that there's a lot more products on here. These will be shown in a future video when we go on to the interior. So bits like uh, the seat protection, 
uh, and bips and bobs like that the leather boost as well so the interior of the car is going to have an overhaul as well and this also for those of you wondering is uh, the three-year coating we're going to go for the five-year one so yeah brilliant i think what we should do now without further hesitation is well get polishing really Absolutely. get those scratches gone <laughs> yeah Okay, so a couple panels down. I feel like this is gonna be very, very satisfying what we're about to do. So you've done a little bit of a 50-50. Got a bit of masking tape on here. Let's take this off and see. Oh, look at that. I don't think you need me to tell you which is the before and which is the after. That is incredible. So you did a little bit of wet sanding on this, didn't you? That's right, we have to you, you, uh, do a little bit of wet sanding. There is a lot of very deep scratches, especially in this area. So we're mm. looking to improve it as much as we can without compromising the thickness of the clear coat. So um, this is what you would normally expect by um, service of paint correction. Yeah. So this, this side is paint corrected, this is before correction. That is incredible. I mean, yeah, you can just see just how scratched it is. And then as we go along, it basically all stops. <laughs> <laughs> it's absolutely incredible. You've done some more wet sanding over on this side. That's right. Uh, so um, the, the next panel, um, it was a quarter that. panel, so we <laughs> remove very deep scratches in this area. Yeah. Um, obviously the car will be degreased and the final stage of the hologramming will be done mm -hmm. just before application of the coating. But obviously the level of the finish you can you can see now I mean, look what, at that, what we achieved so far. No scratches at all. It's like a mirror. Absolutely like a mirror. <laughs> it's absolutely <laughs> awesome. And obviously, bear in mind, this is the inspection light, so without the inspection light, there is no way you would be able to see any kind of the imperfections, where yeah. in fact there isn't any. Yeah, that's amazing. Absolutely amazing. So I think probably the next thing to do is finish off the bumper. Unless we leave it like that. Do you think, do you think we should leave it like that? A little bit of, I think we should, yeah. A little bit so, of a character. Uh, that is a little so bit cool, of patina. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe with the light you can oh, yeah. actually see the, the true results of the, wow. of the paint correction. <laughs> I mean, the colour looks so much deeper, doesn't it? Absolutely. It's almost grey here. Wow. Incredible. Lovely stuff. Okay, let's do the other side, so yeah. we'll match. We can match that. <laughs> Lovely. Another 50-50, this time on the piano black, on the door edge. Look at that. Now, what was that? There's a kind of a, a, like overspray or something on there. Um, yeah, Actually, so basically parts, there was yeah. a previous body, uh, body work done. The mm. little hazy mark you see there, that is yeah. actually overspray. But it's just gone so dull over time. It just looks so deep now, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Yeah, I'm glad you're pleased. Yeah, mate, I'm over the moon. Absolutely over the moon. I mean, just look at that. Look at the, <laughs> look at the reflections, and that panel is not finished yet. <laughs> Onto the front of the car now. Now, as you can probably see, there is an awful lot of stone chips up here. It has been repainted in the past, but still, since then, it's still got a lot of chips. Um, we're going to fix that somewhat. <laughs> so That's what, right. So, so the idea do? is to improve it by using the sanding disc just to reduce that um, um, damage slightly mm -hmm. and shine it up so it will look a lot better. Yeah. Um, as you can see, you can see the tiny little little almost like a dot oh, so yeah. Yeah. when i reduce and uh, remove a little bit of the material you can actually see these are getting a little bit smaller mm. and then when we um, polish it up yeah they um they will be a lot less visible so it's so basically just taking a little bit off that outer edge really just making those exactly tiny that. little bits of road rash just well disappear really yep exactly that so we're just removing a little bit of the top layer of yeah. of the clear coat just mm. to I mean, there's um, no like real obvious stone chips. It is basically just road rash, really. I mean, again, mm. it's a um, 13 years old car, so yeah. this is something you would normally expect to see on the, on the car with um, a little mm. bit higher mileage, which yeah. was yeah, uh, 80,000? Uh, nearly 91 now, so. Yeah, yeah so, so that's, that's, that's exactly yeah. what you would see with, with, with the car, yeah. 90,000 miles on the clock. Really? Lovely stuff. All looking good. So as you guys have seen so far, the car is looking absolutely phenomenal. But I've just popped back here 
just to give you guys a run through of all the parts which I've ordered to really make things look really, really tidy once the car is all complete. Of course, we have a new set of number plates. I believe the ones which are on it previously might have even been the original ones. Either way, they were very, very old and getting very tired. We've got some brake caliper paint because annoyingly, uh, on one of the calipers, uh, it's obviously been replaced somewhere down the line and basically was replaced with an unpainted caliper. Um, but all of them have kind of faded, typical red uh, aged paint, it's kind of faded over time. So we're gonna give uh, a lick of paint to all four calipers. We have a new GTI badge for the front, basically, because I think it's the G on the original one has basically just flaked off and is looking a little bit tired. Of course, the nice gloss black background on that, that basically just clips onto the, uh, to the grill. That's all nice. Uh, we've got these, we, these are the wheel nut covers. Um, so you can see kind of the molding on the inside of them. Basically, they just go over the wheel nuts, make it look nice and tidy. Some of them were missing on the original one, um, but the ones which were there were kind of corroded and kind of faded because uh, I think some, some wheel acid or something was used at some point in its life. So we've got a new set of those. And actually also in there, we've got this little tool as well. This little uh, metal thing there, which, um, Basically, there's like a little hook, which uh, means you can get them out uh, when changing the tires, for example. Uh, along with that, we have a new set of center caps. I've got one of them out of the bag here. These are gonna look really, really smart uh, when, well, the wheels are pretty nice anyway, so the center caps at the moment are just a bit corroded, really, uh, just on the edges. So with a new set of those, that is gonna look awesome, really gonna tidy things up. And then the final thing is actually these tiny little emblems, as you can see here, little VW emblems, which basically replace the one on the key. Now, hopefully this is gonna focus and show you, but it's basically just all worn off here on the emblem. Uh, and so these here, there are a load of replacements. So it's a little touches, really, really excited to, to see how it's going, but those are all the parts. In fact, I might even do this now because quick and easy thing, get it all done. And uh, yeah, one thing ticked off the list. So little key emblem done. Arguably the easiest thing to be done in today's video. But anyway, let's have a little catch up with Mike because he's been working hard on the front of the car, which is looking absolutely amazing. So we finished the bumper, I presume. Absolutely. So, sorted. so the bumper is done, yep. uh, the lights are finished. Yep. So um, they, they all have been refurbished. So now clear through clear, Looks just amazing. the way they should look. Yeah. Um, the grill has been redone because they do fade over the time and mm -hmm. they don't look particularly good. Mm -hmm. So that's, this has been done. And yeah, the next stage will be finish the other half of the bonnet, then we can put the car down and you yep. can actually see the, the, the true result. Awesome. And yeah, I mean, starting yeah, these, to look good. These lights are looking incredible. Literally like new. If you told me that you'd got new headlight units and put them in, I, I'd probably believe you because I mean, that is absolutely awesome. And obviously that faded grill is no more. It's all been redone, look at that. Very, very cool. And actually, yeah. I've got a little present for you as well in the form of the new badge to go on the front, which is Oh, here. wow, yeah, okay, so, oh, you can imagine that. Yeah. <laughs> look like brand new car. <laughs> it even looks like a new grill as well, to be yeah, fair. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome, so we'll get that fitted a little bit later on. Still a fair old bit of polishing to do, or? Uh, we're pretty much done. I think yeah. we just need to do the bonnet. Um, the other side of the car, it just needs uh, one uh, wing to be done, mm -hmm. and then we will just get the things ready for the application yeah. of ceramic coating. Brilliant, lovely. And obviously we've taken the plate mount off just so you can get all around it. That'll yeah, be going back on. Exactly um, that. So the whole idea of this piano back black section, just to polish it as, as much as we can. So when mm -hmm. the plate will come, back on mm -hmm. in the front and uh, will look like brand mm -hmm. new. So that's the whole idea. Lovely With the stuff. plates around it, there, there was no um, access. Yeah, there was almost the like some lime scale build up on the edge as well, wasn't there, I noticed? Well, it is a lime scale and also you got the tiny little bit of the damage if you have a very yeah. close look because how the bracket sits against the bumper, there is always a little bit of the movement. Obviously mm. over the time, yeah. uh, it just, um, the paint gets scratched. Yeah. So yeah. it's not something you will ever see because the, yeah. um, the, the, re the reg plate will, will mm. cover it. Looking awesome though so far. I mean, I can't get over those lights. It actually failed in the MOT before because of um, they were clouding up and That's it is a common right. fault with them. So definitely not gonna be having any issues with that again because look at that, like new. So polishing is now complete and just have a look at this. It is looking like a completely different car and still we're nowhere near being finished. Of course, plates off, uh, exhausts are still yet to be done. Um, and also I need to get rid of this awful tint because look at it, it's all peeling off and 
there's actually a big hole in it right there. So yeah, that needs to go, but all done. That was a big old job, yeah? <laughs> Oh yeah, it's very satisfying. <laughs> There's nothing better than polishing the black cars. Yeah. It's such a rewarding. So as you can see, paint correction is done. We've uh, restored the lights on the back and on the front. And uh, now it's just a matter of degreasing. We'll use the nasal uh, uh, degreaser, which is um, alcohol-based product. Mm -hmm. And then we'll follow with the ceramic coating uh, NL272. Yep. Um, obviously, there is 48 hours uh, curing time for the coating, so we'll apply the coating, and within that 48 hours, we'll take care of the wheels, calipers, uh, windows inside, we'll take care of the exhaust pipes. Mm -hmm. And I think the car will be ready in the next 48 yeah. hours. Brilliant, yeah. I mean, the. I suppose the main proportion of it's all done in terms of the paintwork, the polishing, the correction and everything. Absolutely. Just all the, uh, the other bits like the wheels and, and things like that. Of course, still ignoring the interior, that will come in a completely separate video, but one which uh, is gonna be equally as satisfying, I think. So yeah, basically what we're gonna do now then is coating on all of the painted sections, um, not including the wheels or the glass at this stage. Um, and uh, yeah, then uh, well, the paintwork will then be all protected and sealed and and all lovely, basically. Exactly that. Um, so tell us a little bit more about the coating, actually, because I know, obviously, with what you do, you're applying it all the time. That's right. <laughs> so, as I mentioned before, I, I did try a number of different brands, uh, mm. uh, most of the leading brands, there is a number of coatings. Um, however, the nature, the beauty of that product is a single stage application, so yep. it's pretty straightforward. Well, it's not the easiest uh, product to work with, but I'm sure every professional detailer will, will be able to apply it mm. without any, any issues. Mm. Um, single stage product, uh, the hydrophobic properties are absolutely amazing. Nothing mm. get even close to this product on the market. Um, it's extremely scratch resistant and um, it's just a lovely coating to, mm. to work with. Um, lovely. And five years protection, yep. which uh, I have extremely good feedback from my customers and yeah. um, everyone is actually really happy with the results. Brilliant, that's great to hear. Lovely, all right then. Well, um, I guess we'll cut to some B-roll now of it all being applied and sorted. Let's do it. looking seriously good now that all the coatings are applied. Um, three different coatings, is that correct? Yeah, for That's the right. yeah, paint absolutely. glass and wheels. So obviously we've done the NL272, five year coating for the paint. Um, and then we've got specific ones for the glass and wheels as well, right? That's right, yeah. So the wheels have been coated with metal coat. This is the really easy to use and this is coating you can use it at home yourself. Mm -hmm. You just spray on, wipe it off. Um, it comes in the lovely box like that, yep. um, bottle like that, you spray okay, it on, yep. wipe it off, it lasts six months, really okay. easy, Brilliant. And has a lot of protection. The glass has been polished and coated with glass sheet coating, yep. it's like a water repellent uh, with durability of up to two years. Brilliant, um, perfect. In terms of the wheel arches, they've yep. been detailed, the calipers have been repainted, and I've <laughs> applied the hydrophobic coating to all the suspension parts. Look at that. Um, that looks awesome. And then obviously the trims as well. Exactly that. that. So all the trim has been uh, treated and restored. Yep. Um, Actually quite a lot of plastic trim on this, isn't there? It is, absolutely. All down the yeah. side, all in the back as well. All looking nice and, well, like a deep tone now, isn't it? It's just not as grey as what it was before. Absolutely. In terms of the exhaust pipes, they were yep. really badly corroded. So um, I know you are going to replace them, yep. but I have to just tidy it up yeah, a little bit. Yeah. So it looks a little bit more presentable. Mm. Uh, so it wasn't big focus on it, it's just a good clean, yeah. little bit of polish, I remove all the corrosion. Yeah, they um, were so really bad actually, obviously never been done. Absolutely, okay, yeah. So, so you but can yeah, see the car looking, looking absolutely good. awesome, look at that. A couple of dents I need to get eased up, but I mean in terms of the paint it's looking absolutely awesome. And even the underside as well, wheel arches and everything. It just looks new, 
Yeah, it genuinely looks new. <laughs> yeah, I think we've done as much as we could. Well, yeah. again, we could go a lot further, but mm -hmm. the question is, where do you stop? Exactly. You the car, you are yeah. going to use it every day, so the most mm. important thing was to restore it to the best possible condition yeah. and protect the achieved finish with all the available coatings. Yeah, yeah. Which is exactly what we've done. Exactly that, exactly that. No, it's, uh, it's looking absolutely insane. It's uh, taking years off it. <laughs> Awesome stuff. Wheels are going back on. Obviously, tires, mate. They're I know, they're awful, aren't they? There's a different brand on each corner. <laughs> That's one thing I definitely need to do now because the car looks lovely and then the tires look awful. <laughs> anyway, I have a little bottle of water, so we can do a little water test on this. Check this out because it's gonna basically fly straight off. <laughs> Look at that. Now, this car before. Um, for those of you who watched the cleaning video, you'll know that there was no protection, no coating on it at all. So the water was basically just sticking to the paint. Now, nothing is sticking to that. And the reflection is also pretty cool as well. Oh, you've got little airline as well. <laughs> look at that. Straight off. Actually, let's wander around as well. Have a little look at the bonnet. See that, because this is gonna be pretty satisfying. Look at that. <laughs> Just runs straight off. Awesome. All right, well, um, we'll get the wheels on, get it back on the ground, and then basically we'll have a finished car. I think the water just gets all off. <laughs> So the car is finally complete and I must say it looks like a completely different car. It looks new. I mean, I'm gonna overlay a ton of shots just to show you all the different details of this thing. But Mike has really pulled it out of the bag with this. It looks phenomenal. Now, even though this video may seem like it's just been in one day, this video has probably taken about a week to film. You may notice I'm wearing different clothes than what I was at the start of the video. It's been about a week's work, I reckon, and using the Nashaw stuff, the complete range on the exterior of the car, it looks out of this world. As I'm sure you agree, the car before was looking really tired. It had never been detailed, never really given a proper birthday, but now it looks like a 20,000 mile car. It really does. It looks unbelievable. So obviously we've got new badges, new center caps, even the new caps on where the wheel nuts go. The lights have had a complete uh, restoration. Uh, the grills have been redone. Obviously the paint has been corrected. The uh, wheel arches have been completely degreased, dressed, um, and brought back to life. The calipers have been repainted as well because they were, well, one of them was actually missing part of the red paint um, and on the others, they were just looking a bit faded. Typical uh, old red paint. Of course, it's had the full five-year ceramic coating, uh, coating to the um, windows and also to the wheels as well. It looks unbelievable and I am so, so happy. Now, before we do end this video, there is actually another video which is going to be coming in this little mini series which is of course going to be tackling the interior because that has had no attention yet um, so we need to have a well a proper video dedicated to that and also the engine bay we're going to combine that in you may notice that that has not um, had any work either so that will be coming soon um, but yeah i honestly absolutely over the moon and a big big thank you goes to both mike at conning's detailing and also the guys over at nacio for making this project possible because without them it wouldn't have obviously uh, come to fruition. And obviously you can find all of their details down in the description down below for you guys to go check out. Um, and yeah, I mean, if you want your car looking like this, then by all means, hit Mike up. He'll be using all the nature stuff. And uh, yeah, it will look like a completely different car. But I think that is gonna wrap things up for me today. It's been a very tricky video to film, uh, seeing as it's been basically filmed over a week. Um, but yeah, over the moon and stay tuned for the final video of the interior and the engine bay coming very soon. But yeah, like I said, that's gonna wrap things up for me today. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please do make sure you leave a like and make sure you subscribe for all the adventures still to come. <laughs>